YouTube user AN650011 wanted to see wanted to see Windows 2000 running on the Toshiba A25S207. And I bet you a few other users did too. If it's starting up. And I was able to get Windows 2000 on it successfully. I had to do a little workaround because at first I couldn't be able to get it to install. I had to take the entire keyboard apart just to get to the RAM because the RAM is like underneath the keyboard it's not underneath the laptop I had to take one of the RAM sticks out and disable the CPU cache so I could be able to install Windows 2000 without no problem which is Windows 2000 Service Pack 4 Normally I would have had a please wait box that come up on the screen, but somehow it's not showing up. But I would get the password prompt. Because normally there would be like a please wait box that would be on the top right here on a portion of the screen. I don't know if there was a way you could fix that issue. I don't want to reinstall Windows because it's like a pan. Open it. Hold on. Password. I have to turn my volume up. And Windows 2000 seemed to run pretty smooth. More smoother than XP for sure. Because when I had Windows XP, Windows XP had. Somehow this keeps coming up for no apparent reason about it's unable to locate the DLL. Some of the with that goes to some Toshiba program I'm not worried about. And yes, and my wireless card works perfectly with Windows 2000. And as you see, the Netgear wizard is on the desktop. Here you go. And it's running on 512 megabytes of RAM on a Intel Pentium 4 with 2.66 gigahertz. Yeah, and I got updates I need to install. Yeah. We could do it while it's going on. And I got I got most of my program. Let me go ahead and install these updates. And yes, updates are not stupid. And these are all the programs I got on it. I'm going to try and get Virtual PC 2004 on it. That's my uh, modem application. For the Let me show you how, how the internet works. And yes, I do have Mozilla Firefox 4 installed. And I got my antivirus for Windows 2000. The only way I can get the antivirus to install for Windows 2000, this lightweight antivirus for it, you have to have all you need is Internet Explorer 6 and Windows 2000 Update Rollup 1 to be installed. That's the whole reason I had to install Internet Explorer 6, which I always do for most of my programs, even especially for Office 2003. And 
and I even got iTunes. Sweet. With iTunes 7, because you can tell it's the older version. And that's my um, wireless connection next to the, my antivirus and my automatic updates. And you even got the newest version of CCleaner. And you even got Cam Studio. And I'm gonna probably have to do that little repair for use the Windows 2000 CD to uh, repair the problem with the login prompt that normally would have a please wait. Somehow that was is not showing up. Here's the Google Google page. Oh, it's with no problem. Let's type. Windows 2000. Hold on, let me type up something. Firefox 4. Works. Let me just do a little random search. Works with Windows 2000. So it comes up. I made a mistake here. Just doing a little random Googling. I even got Flash Player installed. Yep, just to show you that Windows 2000 is running pretty smooth there. Well, I'm about to go ahead and um, fix that the login screen. So I'm going to see you guys later.